you have to question that. We don't have strong black role models. But they'll let you on if you got on a dress. But the funny wrong, thing is, right. but the funny thing is, I'm talking a, about real role but models. But the funny thing is, when a black man becomes a strong role model, a la Barack Obama, you ready to chop him down? For we that? already talked about Hold up, the listen, perspective of Barack Obama. Listen to Barack me, Obama please. is the first African American president and in the, the history fact, of the United States, and, it, and the only one who had to run his eight-year administration under the fear of stereotype threat. And he couldn't even be real because he was afraid of the stereotypical stigma of being the angry black man. Listen, he was probably the most disrespected president in the history of America, but couldn't say shit to because he's black. The bitch he ran against was in his hold motherfucking hold cabinet. Hold what was Hillary hold under up, his hold regime? Up. Let me address secretary. Let me let me address What the fuck is that? Let, let me address ha, let me address half a Spike Lee. Get this straight, dog. <laughs> if it wasn't for Barack Obama and the, <laughs> same, and the same way and the same way and the same way you so fast and willingly steadfast to cut Barack Obama's legs from under him, understand something. We've never been playing on the even playing field. We already understand that. So if we understand that, then what does that mean? That means it takes us as black people, even under the face of adversity, even under the face of an unequal playing field, to stand together for a little bit, even if the cause ain't just, so that we can get the first nigga through there, so that we can build upon that and rise Bigger and better than that. So, so hold up, hold up, hold up. If you're so willing to cut Barack Obama down, if you're so willing to cut Martin Lawrence down, if you're so willing to cut Eddie Murphy down for being a black man in a dress, I feel where you're coming from. I understand the sentiment. But what I'm saying to you is, we're so far behind the finish line that if we don't stand together for the greater cause, we'll never get ahead. Sometimes you gotta, you gotta, you gotta cover up and stand up against the ropes and take the rib shots in a 15 round fight so we can win it. Okay. In order to win it, you gotta take the hits. Right. Barack is taking the hits because he's the first nigga. It ain't like he the 15th nigga, the 17th nigga. He the first, which means he's going to naturally take the hits. Stand with him and take the hits. And then when the fourth nigga come, the fifth nigga come, then we can go, nigga, you gotta do something better than that. Fuck out of here. Come on, right. man. That, that's come on, man. Fuck out of here. Come on, man. They said that shit about his first term. They said, wait till the rock second term. But go ahead, you say what you gonna say, son. You thought that nigga could do what he needed to do in, in two terms? Fuck that nigga. In two terms? Fuck that nigga. No white president has ever accomplished what needed to be accomplished in two All right, motherfucker, wow. technical difficulty. Technical difficulties occurred. Mm -hmm. This fucking loud ass, fired up ass show. <laughs> but it's it's love, yeah. and we um we gonna we gonna get ready to wrap this shit up. I just I just want everybody to get a chance to make a, a point, uh, and we gonna start with. With Aries. No, end with me. Nah, uh, nigga. And uh, start, start with, with me. <laughs> and fuck that. End nah, with me. nigga. No. You the one that make it the weakest point. So I'm end with me. Zo, you want to say something? Nah, I'm away. No, no, uh -oh. don't wait. Wait, no, we ain't got time for that now. Y'all gotta make it short. You, go, you, you, you should go now. <laughs> you haven't trusted me before. <laughs> Trust me right now. <laughs> say what you gonna say. Yeah. This is what I think about the whole. Barack Obama thing. I was under no. And keep in mind, shut uh -oh. the fuck up. Uh -oh. Ooh, you see that uh -oh. half red bone, light skin nigga? Hey, that motherfucker put hands on you, nigga. Give you real black eyes. Come on, uh -oh. don't do that, nigga. And that's the truth, nigga. Trust me, nigga. You could I, trust I've me. I've had nigga. about enough of your shit. Uh -oh. That's the truth, nigga. Shut the fuck up while the I'm talking. The loudest niggas are the light skin niggas. Yeah. That wish they could be black. But that'll do that work, though. Yo, I know. Go ahead with your okay, little Okay, let's all I'm not drunk, nigga. I know. I don't drink, nigga. I'm very clear-minded. Uh-huh. Which means I'll fuck you okay. up even more because I'm drunk, nigga. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold up. Oh! 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 Hey, what up, man?
Mr. Spitz, you want to fix the show? Uh, that was a weird ending to the show. Um, not the ending we wanted. Yeah, it was a little different. Um, I'm not um, doing number trying to make a joke out of everything because uh, sometimes shit happens. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, what you had to say, D? Absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Who's Paul Who the bitch not? Uh, so you got anything to say? No. You know? No, I don't. 5150 this show. Is this crazy. was a. Uh, I would say this show was a banger. It was a what? It was a hit. It was a hit. It was a banger. Well, I don't know what um, Frank is going to be able to chop up from this shit. Shut the fuck up, bitch! But uh, we are a 5150 crew, and we will see you guys next week. Peace. For real. Peace. Oh, oh my god. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Now, since everybody's seen that video of what what transpired last month at the fifty one fifty show at Corey Holcomb's fifty one fifty show, and you see this guy right here, Ari Spears, uh, comedian Ari Spears. You know, because of that assault that took place last month, he is now he is now suing. Excuse me. He is now suing this man, Corey Holcomb, who is the head of the 5150 show, and also suing this man right here, Zoe Williams, for the assault. Now, uh, if people <clears throat> really paid attention on why that fight, why that fight broke out like it did, and I didn't see anybody say why people just put up when when Ari Spears and Zoe Williams was, was were going at it. They don't, people only put up that part of the video, but they didn't put up the full thing of why it happened or why the fight happened like it did. Now, if you remember, uh, some people probably didn't get to see what Ari Spears said when Barack Obama was leaving office. I wish I could find that video, but I did happen to pick up on that, and uh, I think this is why <laughs> I think this is why that Corey Holcomb brought him to the show for Corey Holcomb being a a uh, native of Chicago and what Ari Spears said, somebody was interviewing him and somebody asked him what he thought about uh, what Barack Obama has done the whole eight years he was in the Oval Office, and Ari Spears made a statement that whoever has whoever has a problem with what Barack Obama did the past eight years, he's going to have a problem with you. And he and he also stated that if anybody speaks bad about Barack Obama in his presence. It's going to get physical. He's going to lay hands on people. I mean, people are entitled to say what they feel. People are entitled to say what they feel, but a lot of black people are are truly blind on Barack Obama. First of all, he's not the first black president. He's the first mixed president. People feel to realize black people feel to realize that Barack Obama is half white, and Barack Obama's never lived in the hood, okay? Uh, when he went to high school, Barack Obama went to, he went to a public high school in which where, where the tuition was pretty high, and they lived in dorms. So Barack Obama don't know, doesn't know anything about the hood, and he's never even dated black women until he got to college and he met Michelle. So, uh, from what I heard through the grapevine, he was probably was being told to he need to uh, he shouldn't marry anybody that's white, even though he's half white himself. But society is going to look at him as a black man, so he need to he needs to be with a black woman. And me personally, I think Michelle was the 
Michelle probably was the first black woman he's ever been with. Okay, so um, I understand that people are entitled to say what's on their mind, and I'm sorry, but I, I'm I'm with Zoe, and I'm I'm with Corey on on, on uh, Barack Obama. Sure, people say, yeah, he's gone now. We need to move on. Yeah, I agree. But there's some of you black folks that's on Facebook is still crying and bitching about if Barack Obama was all, no, this wouldn't be going on. None of this would be going on. You know, and I'm saying give Donald Trump a chance. I'm not telling you to do nothing. I'm not telling you to do neither. Do what you want. But I'm just saying uh, Barack Obama has done nothing for the black community. He did stuff for everybody else, did nothing for the black people. Why black men were getting killed, getting shot and killed by the police, you know, unarmed at that, were getting shot and killed by the police. Uh, people like Freddie Gray and, uh, and that one brother that was in New York over the, over the cigarette issue, uh, Eric Garner, getting choked out to death by the police over a cigarette. Uh, Philando Castile, you know, uh, Alton Sterling down in New Orleans getting shot over sudden uh, bootleg DVDs or something similar to that. I think it were bootleg DVDs and CDs. Get killed, get shot and killed by the police over that. And and I forgot also too, Freddie Gray getting had his neck broken and his spinal cord severed by the Baltimore police nothing gets done about that nothing was said about that Barack Obama said nothing about that these about these uh, unarmed black people getting killed by the police uh, Sandra Sandra Bland hung to death in, 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 a, in a Texas jail you know Barack Obama said nothing about none of that stuff he said nothing I think the only day he spoke on, and he went, and this kid was, he was shot by a wannabe cop, uh, Trayvon Martin. He said, well, if, if, if I would have had a son, he would be like Trayvon. You know, so, you know, so he doesn't really count. George Zimmer doesn't really count because George Zimmer is not a cop. Zimmerman was a wannabe cop. Okay, so let's not count that one. But still, Trayvon Martin was unarmed. He gets shot and killed. By a wannabe cop, okay. Um, so I'm with Corey and Zoe on the things that was said about Barack Obama. I too, I agree. I mean, what has Barack Obama done? What has he done the eight years he was there? What about the jobs? Unemployment. Actually, when he's gotten all the access, gotten worse. The the unemployment rate amongst Black American men. Well, over 60 plus percent in the Chicago area, the job supposed to be, was going to be promised to be brought into into the neighborhoods of Chicago to at least bring some bring some some jobs there. You know, uh, give our people a chance. A lot of us are not asking for handouts. We just want be we just want to be treated fairly. And a lot of black men didn't get that. A lot of black American men did not get that. You know, it, it actually has gotten worse it, when Barack Obama was in office. So I'm I'm with I'm with uh, Corey and 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 Zoe on this, but what I, what I I think what what blew up in their faces? Who's to say? Don't get me wrong. I like Corey Holcomb. He's a funny dude. Aries Spears also funny, but I think when it comes to Politics, I think Aerie Spears needs to stay doing comedy. Do do what he do best. Do what he does best, which is comedy. So um, when it comes to, you know, like him and a lot of other blacks are blind to the fact about Barack Obama. I'm sorry, but this man didn't do anything for anybody. Barack Obama hasn't done nothing for anybody and and I agree with Zoe and Corey to the to the max. But I think what happened was should that fight have taken place? No, it shouldn't have never taken place. I think that was just something that just got out of hand and 
Eric Spears, he he was kind of egging these cats on, but I I felt that uh, Corey Holcomb should have had some kind of security there because he probably seen the same thing that I saw what Eric Spears said about if anybody says anything bad about Barack Obama in front of in his presence, he's going to get he's going to, he's going to get physical. He's going to lay hands on them. He was talking about doing physical violence to people. People are entitled to say what's on their mind, uh, Mr. Spears. People are entitled to say what is on their minds. You know, you can't get mad because not everybody sees the way you and some black see about Barack Obama. This man did nothing for you, but you still want to defend him. Why is that? So, so. Like I said, maybe Mary Corey Holcomb seen seen the same tape that I saw, and like, well, you know what? I'm gonna take one of this man up. I'm gonna talk some shit about Barack Obama. I'm gonna see just what the fuck this Negro is going to do. And and I think that's where where Corey messed up at, and it because overall it caused Zoe Williams to assault this man. And so that's why the lawsuit is, is is being filed. So the next time, so my my advice, my advice, Corey, you need to get some, uh, you need to get some, you need to hire some security for this type of stuff. Yeah. Was Eric Spears running over overrun his mouth? Sure he was, sure he was. And Zoe kept telling him, "Man, you need to shut the fuck up." You need to shut the fuck up. Then they're gonna start name calling the man. You know what does? Oh, because Zoe Williams is is, is light skinned What gives Eric Spears the right to say what he said to that man? You know he should have had. You know, like once again, Corey should have had some kind of security there because he because I guess from what I've read in the tabloids and stuff like that, Zoe Williams has history of violence. So. Uh, so I think on, on this one, Eric Spears is probably pretty much probably gonna win that. You know. But uh don't get me wrong, I agree with both with, with what they said, but this the, the fight should have never had taken place. You know, that that fight should have should have been stopped before it even got started. So um Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channels and always Y'all take care and peace.